So yeah, we came back at time target uh, after IT Gadakpur Sem and uh, at that point of time we just knew that uh, it would start in just next 4 months. So, so first like the major task which came to us was the resume preparation. And in that resume preparation, as said by seniors, that 50% of the preparation is done in like in resume preparation. So, like by mean of 50% is that whatever projects you are writing, the way you are framing it, in what is they call as the star method, that first you start with the problem statement, then the methodology, and the results. So, going in that way itself, you think a lot what you have written in that project, and in that way you cover that major, uh, that project part in your resume mm -hmm. and the questions will come. So that's the 50, 50 percentage that I'm talking about. Then after resume completion, we just had about two months of placements. So how was my approach was that uh, first, uh, I kind of divided it into three parts. First was the theoretical part, which was what I say on the concept like regression time series. And the, I, I club all those ML techniques as one topic mm -hmm. and then left was deep learning. So in that way I kind of structured it and in theoretical part basically I tried to like go through books like for regression. We had one alumni, alumni team session in which they said that for regression you should go through Montgomery book. Mm -hmm. And so I went through Montgomery and the time series like the professor Budanan's slides were there so I, I uh, visited them. Then post that uh, in Time series part, I again followed one book. Uh, like, it is not a book, but actually a PDF, which is Penn State University time series uh, book was there. In, the, in that way, I followed that and, and I watched one uh, video which was there on uh, which is there in YouTube. Uh, I don't recall the channel name, but yeah, like, it, it kind of showed how we do it in Python implementing step by step. So that gave me more on a practical front, like how should we. How should we go through time series? Now after going both of them, then I, for the ML techniques, I I heavily relied on Josh Carver video, uh, like Statquest. Like it was the most uh, like compromised way of learning any ML technique because it talks everything. So no need to go and like look for heavy loaded articles or like reading research papers for each of those techniques. And we are doing this through our entire time, so it didn't took much time. Then post deep learning, I just referred to the uh, slides which I did in the deep learning electives. So in this three weeks, I kind of like uh, on every day I used to select two topics, study about two, three hours, and in that way I covered this whole part before uh, like coming back to the audience. And yeah, like I also gave two mocks to the seniors, and in that mock it was basically as I said that project part was already done by I was in the resume prep part, and it was only left the theoretical part which I covered as I said. So, so that in that I can say that I just had one uh, like just cover up of the entire resume, but still what I was missing on I was missing on cases because cases and as well as behavioral questions, my intro about the workix, these sections were still left. So regarding the case study, I followed heavily I am as well case book. I didn't refer I am Calcutta or I am Abdabad because like they usually say you should follow three case books but you won't get time. Like at least for my case I didn't get much time. So I followed I am Bagwell case book heavily. Heavily means that I, I kind of uh, clustered it into four types. There are four types one is profitability, then is market entry, then there is market growth and pricing. If you get more time then you can uh, refer to unconventional cases as well but I guess these four are more than enough for any consulting or uh, data science interviews. So, uh, like, so how I kind of so this is all on business uh, business cases. But how shifted I like how how I use this for my data science interviews as well. And for each of the case, along with going through the business insights, I looked upon which technique would I use if it would be a data science case. So, if it is data science case, there are uh, only three ways. Like broad, we can say there are only three techniques. One is supervised learning, another is unsupervised learning, and then third is uh, like we can refer to semi-supervised, but semi-supervised is not that it's not that uh, taught well as well as it's not that rigorously used. So you can kind of limit yourself to supervised, semi-supervised. So if you think in this domain, you would you would get to know that whether you want to go for uh, labeled data as in supervised or you want to go with clustering or p shape my kind of thing as supervised. So in this way, I kind of prepped and this I did uh, like around two weeks. I now, now people say that you should practice case with friends uh, and the same thing I followed when I came up like uh, I, I practiced with uh, like friends which are nearby and so we used to sit almost twice like uh, in two days we used to practice one case 
but i also do a lot of did a lot of cases individually because just i used to practice with myself that how i am doing where i am going wrong and that that is also very important because that introspection will tell you that how how more you can improve in group you would get to know about more ideas but to cover the whole thing in breadth for that it also requires individual attention so yeah and after that uh, some mocks with seniors and he opposed that we again got busy with those exams and and then finally the d day came very soon uh, one thing which uh, which i lacked a lot is that i didn't give much mocks with the seniors uh maybe i just give like which i can recall i just gave only three mocks and i guess uh like if you are doing everything with yourself you might get a very biased opinion about your resume and whatever your prep you have you should give a third like a word to say a bird eye view of uh-huh. seniors so that thing i guess i should have planned my mocks well which i didn't did i guess uh like on the prep party i was very happy with how i structured so okay, nothing okay, much uh-huh. changed in that but like i missed a lot on the mock part okay